Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, thank you so much for watching my videos. And on today's video, I'll be showing you this new gel technique. I actually saw it on TikTok and Instagram. It was really trending. So I said, hmm, I would really like to try that. So today here I am, I'm going to try it for you guys and everything in this video will be kept on the description box down below so probably if you really want to try this please give a shot and the price is really affordable so it actually comes with the duo foam that are clear that helps the gel to not stick into it when you're using the gel so it comes with the gel it also comes with a liquid solution that is to be used with the gel brush and also a cuticle pusher so what I'm gonna do now is prepping my nails so as you can see I'm trying to file them with a buffer then after that I will clean the nails When I'm done cleaning my nail now is to I will use the cuticle pusher just to push the cuticle When you're done doing that now it's time to apply your base coat And when you're done applying it, it's time to cure it. So I'll cure it for almost one minute. I'm done with curing the nails. Now it's time to try the duo foam. It is very important that you try the duo foams. Like, please don't skip this step. So make sure that you try your duo foams before starting to apply the gel. After that, now it's time to put your liquid in a container so it's easier to use. So just so you know, it is 30 millimeters of liquid solution that comes into this packaging. And also you have um, 15 millimeters for the gel. Here comes the most interesting part. So please watch this. You actually just put a little amount of gel into the duo foam and you take the liquid solution with the brush and then you try to spray out the the gel what the liquid solution does it helps you to spread the gel faster and easier make sure you spread the gel very well so it's not like too much in one place or too little and then after that you just put it on your nail when you're done placing the duo foam what you have to do now is just to clean around the duo foam and when you're done now it's time to cure it And I'll just repeat just in case it didn't dry well. And here you go. Ta da! So your nail is done. Wow, this is the most easiest thing I've ever tried. Can you guys see this? You'll actually do the same thing to the rest of the nails. You spray it using the liquid solution. I think it's alcohol. It smells like alcohol. I don't know what actually this is, but it smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. 
and then after you just clean it out using the liquid solution make sure you clean it out before you put your finger into the lead because if you keep it it will dry before so you don't want that to happen so you have to do it before And it's actually very good to do one nail after another so just in case there is a problem you can solve the problem before than doing all the nails at the same time so make sure you do one after another and it's much more easier so now i'm trying just to put a little bit of decor just to see how it will turn out it's also good when you're doing something just try to experiment it's not bad so here I was trying to experiment how it's gonna look I'm actually so happy with the outcome of the gel since it is my very first time using this gel technique so I'm like it's really easy and anyone can use it yeah you actually can be your own nail tech if you're using this Here comes the most easiest thing to do with Duoform. So as you can see, Duoform has already helped you like to soften the top of the nail, like the gel. So you actually don't need to do that. However, if you're using a normal gel process, it's actually really hard. Like it's not easier at all. But with this Duoform, it's much, much more easier. And you actually don't need to like file a lot so that's even a plus now I'll just cut to the length that I want my nails to to be file them again And then I will clean everything. As you can see, the nails are already looking great. However, I really want to have 
um, I want to add something on top of that. You can already leave it like that if you really like and then just put apply a top coat but I want something more interesting so I'll apply the first top coat So before curing it, I decide to put some foil paper, like the deco, just to have a nice nail finish. So I'll actually use the top coat as a glue to it. And now what I'm going to do is just to cure it for one minute. When I'm done with that, now it's time to apply a top coat again. And I will cure it again. When I'm done with that, this is actually how it looks like just after curing it. But I actually really prefer it after using the nail polish remover, like cleaning it, like the top coat. It has this a certain uh, finish look that is really good and I prefer it that way. So as you can see, this is my other hand, my right hand, that I haven't done the manicure. So what I'm going to do, I will do the other hand and I will be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget also to share this video and another thing. Leave me a comment down below if you want me to try something and you're scared of doing it. Please let me know on the comment section down below and we will see each other in the next video.